Hello grade 10s and welcome. Today we will be investigating the theorems of triangles. Let's join Amashni and her grade 10 students as they discover two important theorems. Have you ever wondered how tilers manage to tile neatly and in a straight line? Or how they are able to use various shaped tiles to form patterns on floors and walls? Have you ever thought that there might be basic mathematical principles that help them in their work? To help us with our investigations, we will construct a pattern of our own. Once again, I have asked learners to assist us in this activity. We will need a cutout of any triangle, a large piece of paper, a pen and a ruler. Remember, our cutout is also available on our website. Draw a straight line across the page. Right, label your line. Is A, B okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, what I want you to do next is to translate this triangle along the straight line that you've drawn. Do you know what translate means? Jonathan, you look like you have an idea. Well, couldn't it be um, um, copying the triangle and keep, um, going on from point to point? If I'm putting a triangle there, mm -hmm. then transferring it and transferring it. Right, very good. So translate the triangle. Claudio and Miguel, what I want you guys to do is to watch the angles and stick these symbols where the angles corresponded. Now what I would like you to do, using your ruler as a guide, translate the shape along the straight line here. Right, so this is the triangle that we translated. Look what happens if I flip this triangle. Do you notice that it fits in line with the rest of the triangles? Wesley, why don't you close this off this triangle for me? And if I fill this in throughout, it works with all the triangles. What do you know about a straight line? The angles on a straight line? I have to 180. Okay. Can we, is there a relationship between the three symbols that we have in relation to this 180 degrees? The Just sum of all of them equal 180 degrees. So you are saying that the square plus, maybe you can write this. <laughs> You guys have already said that a square plus a circle plus a rectangle is equal to 180 degrees. So on this straight line, we see that the square plus a circle plus the rectangle is equal to 180 degrees. So what do you notice about the interior angles of this triangle? That they all equal up to 180 degrees. So you're saying that the sum of these angles adds up to 180 yes. degrees. Okay, so the square plus the circle plus the rectangle is equal to 180 degrees. Yes. That wasn't too difficult. This simple exercise has led us to an understanding of our first theorem about triangles that we will learn today. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. For our next exercise, we go back to our learners. This time, we will use tracing paper to concentrate on the part of the diagram that we need. Jonathan, why don't you trace this triangle? And extend the sides, please. Which are the exterior angles of this triangle? That's it. 
Okay, this one? This? You said this? Yes. This? Yes. This one? No. Why not? Because they're vertically opposite. Vertically opposite, okay. Yes. So an exterior angle is an angle that is formed when the lines are produced or extended yes. from a triangle. So can we just color in the angles that are not exterior angles so that we know which ones we're working with? Right, are we all clear that these ones that are colored in are not exterior angles? Yes. yes. Right. Right, now that we've identified the exterior angles of the triangle, let's go back to our triangular pattern. Our exterior angle is made up of the rectangle and the circle. Mm -hmm. Do you notice the relationship between the interior opposite angle and the exterior angle? Well, there's, a, there's a circle and there's a rectangle. rectangle. Let's just place this tracing paper nicely so we can see. Yes, what's that, Wesley? There's a circle and there's a rectangle and there's a circle and there's a rectangle. So our exterior angle was made up of the rectangle and the circle. And we see that the interior opposite angles is a circle and a rectangle. Now, is there a relationship, maybe Miguel, is there a relationship between this exterior angle and the interior opposite angles in the triangle? Yes, it's because they're both in the triangle. What is that? That the... In so this exterior angle has a square and a circle, yes? And in the triangle it also has a circle and a square. Okay, maybe point it. Over there, over there. Okay. There. So we see that the sum of the interior opposite angles, which is the square plus the circle, is equal to the exterior angle, the square plus the circle. Yes. And as easy as that, we have discovered the second theorem that we have to understand today. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. Now you may be thinking, is this true of all exterior angles? Let's test our theory on our diagram. Let's look at this exterior angle in relation to this triangle. Remember, an exterior angle is constructed by producing one of the sides of the triangle and one of the sides. So this is the exterior angle. If you look at the exterior angle, it is the rectangle plus the circle. And it is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles, which is the circle and the rectangle. So yes, we see that this is true of all triangles. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. This is hard work, isn't it? But when you investigate for yourself, you come to understand and remember the theorems much better. Don't forget to revise these theorems regularly. It's been good to have you with us, grade 10s. Don't forget to try some of the tasks in the Euclidean Geometry Task video. You'll also be able to find more resources on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. And don't just try angles, do angles. Bye for now.